Media, my man Circle City, my nigga Young P -P Cola from Black Compass, PPV, you know what I'm saying? Put your 3D glasses on them, pussy, because you know we coming straight at you. Right. 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 It's only invisible over that digital, that's typical. Uh -huh. Lift a tool, target, get in the view, the cold word, PPV. That mean he getting pinpointed as soon as he in the visual, that's it. Ah. Put your 3D glasses on them, pussy, because you know we coming straight at you. PBV, live with this motherfucker with my brother. True motherfucker foe. What's good, brother? What's going on, bro? How you rocking? I'm good, man. Just doing my thing, getting ready for the few battles I got coming up. Uh, working on some music. You know. Let's go with the just, music, just... though. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like this is the perfect time to springboard, you know what I'm saying, your artistry in a different light. You know what I'm saying? Because it's all lyricism. But nigga, you yeah. make fire fucking music, bro, with substance. You know what I mean? Do, yeah. you, do you wait for opportunities like this, or you always been consistent with dropping music? I know the I know the answer, but for the people, I mean, uh, you know, uh, I drop music consistently. Could be way more consistent to my liking, but I do drop music here and there. Um, and the people that's in tune, like yourself, y'all in tune, and y'all know. But I think uh, battle rap been kind of, you know, battle rap has been way more lucrative than the music for me. And, and I always got into battle rap uh, so that my music could get on. You feel me? Like, I, I wanted to be an artist first, you know what I'm saying? But battle rap just was a thing that I love to do as well. And I, I think I'm kind of good at it. So, but yeah. the music, like right now, the vibe I got with the music right now, like, this probably the hottest I ever been. So like while the eyes is on me, I want to I want people to see more of who I am, you know, and just build the brand. So I got the music dropping soon. I'm working on a on the project Drill Music for the Soul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, it means I'm excited about it. Everybody who I let hear what I got so far, I'm getting the same reaction from people all around. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like everybody like man, this shit real. Like this shit, this that real. Sh it's still that drill music feel, but it's like from the whole different perspective of, you know, the way we giving it. Like, yeah, I'm I'm letting them hit a pain. You know, most of the, uh, the drill culture is like niggas feeling that pain and they going right out and dealing with that anger. But I'm showing the other side of drill, like the other side of what the city represent, like from the same perspective, like just with a different sound. Like I got a lot of influence from Griselda and, 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 and you know them, them old them type the niggas with that type of feel like yeah. heavy influence right now been like Griselda and, and you know uh, Freddie Gibbs and and, and and you know them type of niggas bro you feel me it's like Rock Marciano you know what I'm saying like yeah. them type of niggas them guys. Bro, you know yeah you know what I'm saying that that's I'm kind of giving them that side of it from the drill perspectives and I think I'm carving a whole new lane because we got some spitters in the city. We don't always, you know, everybody don't want to rap the way that's that's common from the city. You feel? Hey, so I, I'm gonna open that lane. I'm gonna open that door for for for, for us, bro. You know, drill music. Nah, nah, that so, was crazy that you said common. You know what I'm saying? Because common is a conscious yeah. rapper, and then I feel like you have elements of common because you are a conscious brother. You know what I mean? You know yeah. what's going on in your surroundings, and you being from Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Uh, drill music for the soul. I want to, you know what I mean? Touch on that pause. You know what I mean? Because uh, is it more of the beats and the background that, because your lyrics is the same, but yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Like you didn't change nothing lyrically. It was like the, the, the your background music. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, it was more the, 
it was more the beats and 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 just to showcase my lyricism because you know I jump on beats on phoneem that's just, with phoneem that's just calm and drill shit like we just out here we just talking our shit but these beats this vibe you know what I'm saying is 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 different mm-hmm. when it comes to the shit what the artists are doing in my city you know what I'm saying yes so, sir yes sir and, and, but I still love that same type of energy that the whole like I mean it's like a we got a new Midwest movement in battle rap, but it's also like a new Midwest movement in music as well. We got yes, Dirk sir. at the head of that, ESTG, mm-hmm. uh, Babyface Ray, Iceweb Vezo, motherfucking uh, shit, I'm forgetting the Bro, name. Bro, everywhere, bro, the Midwest, you know, The Midwest, we just, we really putting the sound, we got a sound, and, and it's, it, it, it's led by Chicago, Detroit. You know, it, it, it's really fire. Like we got our own sound. I love that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? So I still got beats like that where I'm attacking it like that. But but this drill music for the soul is just pure. Like I'm gonna give y'all that pain. I'm gonna paint the picture for you. You know what I'm saying? Out the gate, like, bro. Because paint, the, the paint shit. You feel it. Yeah, bro. Say speaking of feel it, pause. You know what I'm saying? Because the shit you sent me, like, yeah, man. Like it's a vibe, bro. You know what I mean? But it's so gangster. You just got to li- sit back and listen to your gangsterism because of the beat. Like, it's not one of those <laughs> motherfucking shit you bob and you turn. Nah, nigga, listen to, listen to me. And I don't even like that yeah. nigga, but nigga, it's, it's that. Like, listen, yeah. hear me, bro. Hear what the fuck I'm saying. Fuck that. That, <laughs> like, what made you do a back, like, uh, 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 drill music for the soul meaning to me? You know what I mean? For the soul you use soul samples in a sense on some old Kanye. You Chicago is shit, yeah. Jack. You hear me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like you were you hit a throwback with that with them samples though. You know what I'm saying? Uh uh yeah. who's your beat man? Like pause. You know what I'm saying? And the, the nigga the nigga the nigga I'm getting a lot of first I wanna shout out to my man Doc. Uh, he a producer in, in, in the city and, and we got a good energy and good chemistry going. Bro be making, he done made a few of the beats. He made the freeze for, for a couple songs on there, like Tried to Tell Me and and, and, uh, and uh, what's the other one? He got, I got a couple beats from Bro, but me and Bro working and then I'm grabbing a lot of beats off, off uh, YouTube from this cat named Sai Puda. And, and he... he that nigga's fired, bro. Like, that nigga, he got the ones for me. And then, like, you know, I got some other niggas. I don't know if I really want to name drop because they working yeah, yeah. with me on the... Yeah, nah, nah, I'm hell no. Nah, don't, 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 nah, got, don't give your secrets out, Jack. Yeah, you got yeah, too yeah. much. I ain't gonna, I ain't, you know, I ain't gonna let niggas know. I'm gonna wait till some of this shit come out. And, and, and then, and, uh, plug, plug. They gonna see who I'm yeah, working pause. with. Like, oh, yeah. shit, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. But I got some, I got some big names. I got some producers with that's, that's, putting some pain out here in the music industry for real like they don't work with rick ross they don't work with they don't work with uh jada kiss they don't work with dave east you know i got some real some real people who seeing what i'm doing you know what i'm saying Hell and, yeah. and, 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 uh, and i and i want to thank those people you know when the time will come when i say their names publicly you know what i'm saying but like no nah, i want to thank them for, mm-hmm. for, for for noticing for even throwing me shit you know these them niggas them niggas who I'm telling you about, they sent me 28 beats and told me what I can. You know what I'm saying? For mm. free. Mm. These niggas was getting top dollar for beats and production. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They sent me 28 beats. Yeah. Make something happen. Hey, bro. You know? Let, let's talk about that part because last year was this love you get now? Did you get this type of love in that sense? You know what I mean? Where I mean, from the people, I mean, shit. we not... Yeah, I mean, it was some people who I've known who always showed me love. But you know, when when you dealing with real motherfuckers who really elevating and really doing and making leaving footprints in the game, they gotta see you working for them to put their neck on the line. You That's know, a fact, Jack. So, so, so a lot of people show me love because I'm a genuine nigga. The first day you met me, you showed me love because mm-hmm. I'm always coming palms up. You know, fact. that's just how I am. I'm gonna come. You gon' you gon' you gon' see what the gangsters about anyway because that's you know shout out to Geechee when it's real you can tell you know what I'm saying mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and, and 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 you know I carry myself like a man you know what I'm saying 
whether I'm right, I'm wrong, anything, you know, so niggas is gonna fuck with me. And I understood that, yo, I gotta step my shit up so that them people that can put me in these, to, who can give me these opportunities to change my situation, then I gotta, you know, I gotta move accordingly. You know what I'm saying? Out the game. So, so like, you know, it, it, you know, hate, love, it's all, it's all, it's all a form of love, even the hate. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a, uh, it's hate, is a cousin, hate is a cousin of love. A blood cuss. You know what I mean? I, they, think, they, I, I, think, I think they twins. You know? I okay. Think they you know, twins. Like yin and a yang, huh? Yeah, I think they fraternal twins, yo. Like, you know? Yeah, they they, cool. they know they look different. Uh, yeah. They sound different. You know what I'm saying? But I get what you're saying. I definitely get what you're yeah. saying. You know what I'm saying? But you so, know, Lord, I'm just, I'm just grateful for all the opportunities, bro. I'm already knowing, bro. And you always show it, bro. Like, you one of the rare guys in this fucking thing of ours called Battle Rap that don't take nothing for granted. Like, you take it all in, pause. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro. You know what I mean? You take your wins with your losses, your goods with your bad. But a lot of people don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, Hey, hey, when you drop this interview, Lord, give him a little sample of that Chevy, though. I got you. I got you. I'm going to start the intro off with that motherfucker. And I, yeah. let's talk about that Chevy real quick because I want to transition into uh, what you got working on. You know what I'm saying? Chevy, and that's the part of uh, uh, drill music for the soul? Yeah, for sure. Like, bro, why would you, like, a Chevy was a, 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 a expensive car? Like, like you being from Chicago, let's just speak on that concept because that's the intro to the hook. Like, a Chevy, like, what was it about a Chevy to you, brother? Just like, you know, I'm from, I am I was born on the west side of Chicago. I grew up on the north side of Chicago, but all my family from the west side, you know, if you know the west side of Chicago, that's like the flashy side. Where like, that's like the Harlem of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's where everybody fly getting, you know, and back in, you know, in the 90s and the early 2000s, when I was growing up, the niggas rolled box Chevys mm-hmm. or bubble Chevys, mm-hmm. and they was putting foals on them bitches, and yeah. the cars was going up at the bottom. Did y'all and, call and them rammers? Because I'm from old school Chicago, where they like they. Oh, call- we just call them like old schools, like okay. man, that's the old school. You know what I'm saying? And you just seen old schools like, and all the all the niggas that was getting money, they had Chevys with rent on, with with things on them bitches, fifteens in the trunk. You hear me? Mm-hmm. Like you, that's how we grew up. You feel me? So like, then being a kid, you see all the niggas with the money with the box Chevys and the bubble Chevys, and they they pulling up in the at, at, at the circle, and you feel me? Yeah. So man. I grew up thinking a Chevy was a you know a fancy not knowing car, that. bro. <laughs> A fancy car, like I ain't know shit about no foreigners or nothing. Like you know, yeah. Chevy was the shit, you yeah. know. Like, that's what you see. My favorite car is a 1996 Impala, Impala nigga. nigga. Come on, bro. Bubble, nigga. C- nigga, nigga. Oh, oh, let, so let's talk about that real quick. You know what I'm saying? Let me mention that that was the car, the car, the goddamn Ice Cube drove in all about the Benjamins, the all black. Yes, what I love that Come movie on, for that bro. car. I know, bro. I brother. can't wait to get me. A, I'm gonna get me a Chevy bubble on things. What? <laughs> what you talking about? And that motherfucker still thirty six thousand. That car is still expensive Ew. as shit, Jack. What? I hey. love that bitch, bro. So, what? so, so I let's talk. Car. So, let's get back into the uh, your, your Chevy. You know what I'm saying? So, you come from the box, the just like whatever Chevy. It was a Chevrolet, nigga. That's expensive, nigga. Yeah, got you. You know, for real, like and Chevy, like man, bro, the shit I'm talking on that, bro, like man, bro. Every one of the guys I let hit a song, I let my niggas hit a song, I let a couple of my let, and they just like they say, they like, bro, my stomach tightening up, bro. Like I hey. might cry, like you. You took a nigga that back. Shit on there. Hey, bro. Like, hey, bro. Oh, my mama, bro. Nigga, didn't I hit you up about that drum? Yeah, bro. Come on. And not even right away, like. You, you say, man, I, I listened to this like five times. Like. Bro, nah, bro. <laughs> nigga, that, that, that shit resonated, bro. Because it takes man. you back to when you seen the hustlers driving a car when you think it was expensive, <laughs> but they made it look expensive. That's just, yeah. a, that's just a, a, a domestic fucking vehicle. 
You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. nothing foreign about it, but they made it foreign because, nigga, you have to get access to this shit. But nigga, yeah. nigga, real niggas gonna relate to that shit, nigga. I remember when Chevy was a foreign car. Nigga, what the fuck? Crazy. What? Like, man, no, like, just this whole, like, Lord, man, I'm so excited about my project, bro, and it's making me excited about my battles, bro, because the more I do it, you know, one thing I learned from this nigga, shoe surface, the better he doing his battles, the better his music do, you feel me, because mm. it's gonna mm. get the people, when you go killing them battles, they're like, oh, I know the project gonna be, yeah, I watch these niggas, bro, like, I'm learning, bro. Mm-hmm. I watch these niggas. You can learn from everybody, and I learn yes, from sir. some of everybody, bro. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And I'm always, I'm always willing to learn, bro. Mm-hmm. So like, bro, these people hit me. I'm excited to, to, to that I got opportunities like uh, Houston Barcode Home for to they they. Yeah, we, but that's where I wanted to transition. It. Put your 3D glasses on, then pussy, because you know we coming straight at you.